Good afternoon, ladies and gents. Um, before we start our little bucktail intro video, um, I want you to head over to the Goose Hummock YouTube and like and subscribe. We got a bunch of new uh, videos coming out, a bunch of different uh, varieties of content, so uh, tune in. So how would you start to fish a bucktail? Okay, so when I'm hitting the beach, I think it's well renowned that I, I love fishing the bucktail. It's super effective lure. I generally kind of have an idea of the lay of the land where I'm fishing. If you're going out to a new spot, like totally blind, what I would do, um, especially in the surf, I would probably pick up um, a one ounce or one and a half ounce off the bat. I would make my first cast in like a spot where you think that there would be a congregation of fish. Um, I would cast out and let it sit all the way to the bottom. So I'm like counting it down in my mind, like Mississippi in it, till it hits the bottom. And then I'm starting like a very slow, steady retrieve. Uh, and if I don't get hit on the bottom, I'm probably gonna cut my Mississippis in half. So now I'm working with half the water column that I was originally working with. You're just trying to uh, search for the fish, you know? You're using the bucktail as like an extension of your arm to feel where they are in the water column, you know? So that's kind of um, generally where I would start. You know, if I'm dealing with a skinnier water, less current, I'm gonna drop my weight down to maybe a three quarter of an ounce. Um, but this is also dictated by the rod that you're using as well. I'd say the max that I really use in the surf is probably two, two and a half max, depending on the water depth, obviously. Um, but that's, that's how I'm gonna like initially base my bucktail fishing technique. So you kind of touched on it there, but mm. when to fish the bucktail? All the time. So bucktail I think is one of the most universally um, use buck or lures in general because you can fish it morning, you can fish it at night, you can fish it just barely subsurface with some of our lighter options and then you can really bump the bottom if they're holding that bottom structure with something like a two ounce or a two and a half, you know? But you can uh, you can fish it dawn to dusk. What about weights? How heavy, how light do you usually throw them? Yeah, so I generally um, and this is generalization, but I don't go really under three quarter and very rarely do I ever go over two um, For normal beach fishing. I feel like most of the spots that we're fishing are maybe you're casting to 15 feet um, And if you're running too excessively heavy, I feel like you either have to increase your retrieve ratio um, too fast to to effectively fish it or you're just dragging the bottom and getting snagged all the time. No, if you only had one. One, uh, I do love the Joe Bags. Um, he makes a great head, high quality hook. As you can tell with this Blurpa one, he doesn't skimp on the air. Um, the feathers are beautiful. If I had only had one, it'd probably be this in an all white, one and a half ounce. Now, what is your favorite trailer and how do you rig it? Okay, so multiple of trailers out here. Um, Otter tail is a great option. This gets you the scent. It gets you uh, UV light, so they glow in the dark, which is kind of nice. Um, if you need the scent, that's kind of the only option I'd run. 99.9% .9 this one is obviously beat up because it's used. Um, six inch gotcha grub, love them. They, uh, they give a good action, just the curly tail. So any kind of uh, curly tail is gonna have good action on steady retrieve. Um, and they hold up really well too, so they last a while. Another one, I love the dart spin. We have uh, the silver flake here. I really, really like this. Um, and you get the flash. So that's that's also really nice. And on the slow steady retrieve, I'm just looking for the maximum action that I can get out of the lure with not um, imparting a lot of twitches, you know? That's, uh, that's what kind of makes the trailer for me. Now see, we got a lot of different types of the bucktails there on the table. Wicked. Talk us through some of them. All right, so we got um, a bunch of varieties. So this is the, the bouncing bucktail from Ocean Born. So designed primarily, and with the clips, this isn't super, um, doesn't determine, you know, it's, it's only a vertical jigging presentation. It's only a casting presentation, but um, they put the line tie on the top. So it's kind of more for, for either using in the kayak or out in the boat, so you're working in more vertically um, presentation. Great for uh, sea bass, great for your fluke, anything on the bottom. Generally what you're gonna see me using in the surf is gonna be something like this. 
So it has the, um, I know the sticker's kind of blocking you, but it has the, the line tie more off the nose. So it's gonna pull through the water um, more on like level plane with your line. So less of like a vertical presentation, more of a uh, horizontal presentation, I would say. What kind of species are you going after? Mainly stripers? Yeah, primarily me, mainly stripers. Um, you know, I've caught, I've caught a couple of albies on the bucktail too though. So uh, they're not um, species specific. And you can go all the way down to your small sizes. You can use them as teasers for fluke. Um, they're just universally loved by everything. They just look like a small bait fish in the water. This is gonna be, so we're gonna flip it like it's this. So we want it flat side facing, um, facing like the jig head. So we're sliding it on in there. I feel it nice and easy going in. As soon as this body opens up, I'm gonna start poking it through. I'm gonna slide it down, pull the hair out so it doesn't get stuck in the middle of your soft plastic here. Feel it slide over the beekeeper there. Beautiful, great. My other little inside tip, um, Loctite makes super glue gel, and I will put a dab of the super glue gel right on the the, uh, the head of the uh, soft plastic, and it'll keep the stripers from uh, short striking it and tearing it, help your bait last a lot longer. Well, this has been Ian McFarland signing off here with a little intro to Bucktails. I highly recommend you guys picking these guys up. Um, really affordable, probably the most affordable lure in the shop, and they work great. It's a great foundation to start fishing, um, and I guarantee you will catch on them. Have a great day, guys.